welcome back to Declutter with Heather and if you're new here then welcome. It's time to commit to making small changes in our life that will give us the life that we want. As the author of Atomic Habits, James Clear once said, every action you take is a vote toward the type of person you want to become. So whatever your goal is, sometimes it's the small steps that can make the biggest adjustments to our lives. So today I want to share with you 10 small changes that can significantly change your life. In our culture of abundance, most of us have everything we need already. So we should spend our time making memories instead of using things. Life is a sum of all of our experiences, not a sum of all of our things. So step number one to a more positive life is resetting the room every time you leave it. So that means if you have a cup that's empty or you finish eating, then you take the items to the room they belong to or if there's other things laying around the room that could be put away in 30 seconds or less grab them and take them to their home where they belong this will help your home constantly be tidier number two on the list is meal planning when you meal plan, you don't have to go to the grocery store and aimlessly look around for what you're going to have for dinner. When you go with a list and know exactly what you're having each night, you're going to cut way down on your spending at the grocery store. Also, the new online shopping carts for the grocery store can keep you from impulse purchases where you can shop online and go to the store and pick it up at the curb and they bring it out to you. My next tip is to get a good mattress so you can get a good night's sleep. And if you have back problems, this is something that's very important. If you wake up with back pain every morning, you need a new mattress. I know when I had a bad mattress that I would wake up every morning with excruciating pain and it made it hard to even stand to do the dishes. And so sleep is very important to have in a functional day. My next tip is to figure out who you are. And one way that you can start doing this is by taking a personality test. I like the Myers-Briggs because I found it to be the most accurate. My personality type is an INTJ and after reading up on myself I couldn't believe how accurate it was. So if you want to take the test and start learning about yourself you can go to 16personalities.com and take the test for free. I first took the test when I was in uh, college classes for psychology it's actually a really neat test. I think it takes about 10 minutes to take it. And if you can get your friends and family to take it, then you can find out what makes them tick and why they are the way they are too, which is very interesting. Another ideal that can drastically change your life is finding a way to meet new people and make new friends. Also, you can buy books or rent books from the library about um, the different personality types for the Myers-Briggs and they are really interesting so I highly recommend them and if you insist on being on social media then unfollow the people that bring you down and follow things that make you happy is there a book you've been wanting to read or a book you've been wanting to write or a commitment you've been wanting to make or a career change that you desperately need or even a relationship change you need to make? One thing that 
brings me happiness is the whole creating a YouTube channel. I've wanted to do it and I've made a couple others that I ended up shutting down. because of not being confident in myself but this one I really want to stick with it because it does bring me happiness to make these because I really want to help other people I have so much anxiety and depression and these type of problems that I want to be useful in this world. I want I want to do good for somebody else and leave some sort of an impression. But at the same time I'm also really reserved and I doubt that anybody will find me interesting. I know I have useful things, useful knowledge in my head but it's hard to put into words when I want to share it and so making YouTube videos takes a long time a lot of energy a lot of anxiety and so as much as I, I want to support you I also need support back to make what I'm trying to do here worthwhile because I would hate to have lived this life and not have been useful to anybody. This really, if it, it feels like a foolish endeavor because I don't know um, I don't know how to get my channel to grow to actually help a lot of people like I would like to do. And so I'm constantly thinking, am I just wasting my time with this? I know, I know I'm helping a couple people because you've told me that you find my videos useful and I'm so glad to hear it. And honestly, thank you for telling me because it means a lot. So whatever it is that you are wanting to do to change your life for the better, now is the perfect time to do it. So I hope you will. The truth is there are no guarantees in life, so this is the time to face the uncertainties. You never know, the outcome could be everything you've ever wanted. And the longer you wait, the bigger the barrier becomes. And if the thing you want to do doesn't work out, then you can always figure it out as you go along. What changes you need to make. So my intentions for this year are to set goals. Hi puppy. Say hi. Hit. Hit. Oh baby, she's so cute. She's so cute. There's Primrose. So I started this YouTube channel, I think, in January or February. Are you stuck? And I started my Facebook group, Declutter with Heather, around the same time. And I'm really hoping that both will grow because I know what I'm trying to do is life changing if everybody would just jump on board with what I'm trying to do here. And I know this because my house is so calm and peaceful now that I've decluttered and been going down the path of minimalism. It makes cleaning so much easier and it just 
my house feels calm and I know in a cluttered house that's impossible so I'm trying to be mindful of limiting thoughts and I have a lot of limiting thoughts another goal that I'm setting for this year is to try to just buy the things that we need to get this house put in order curtains I need a comforter for the bed I need a doggy gate I had to buy this sun visor because I take my puppy out in the front yard where we're getting the fence put up so we're getting the fence but I had to get this sun visor because the sun shoots directly to the front of my house and it just about blinds you to sit out there but we have to use the front because the back door you have to go through the garage to get out and that is a big hassle so we're just going to put the fence in the front yard we have almost everything that we need for the house we had to buy a new sweeper we had to get a new toaster because ours got lost in the move somehow there were a lot of expenses that came because the home inspector missed a lot of things on the house that we had to pay for out of pocket when we bought this house in um, December we're also gonna have the washer and dryer moved inside from the garage so that there's room in the garage to put the lawn mowers so that we don't have to buy a utility shed and I'd rather have them in the house anyway because I don't really understand a washer and dryer being in the garage and we had to get a kitchen table and an entertainment center and a sectional because we didn't have any furniture so at this point I am done spending money this year I don't want to buy anything else no clothing no anything that we don't necessarily need because we've spent we've had because we've had to spend too much money already so this year we're going to try to do a low buy year where we're only buying food and things that are necessary like shampoo and conditioner and q-tips and deodorant and those type of things we're not buying anything that we absolutely don't need another tip that I've found that brings me happiness is I light my candle every day since we've been here I think I've burnt seven candles but I light one every morning and let it burn most of the day and this I love I love the smell of candles so it definitely brightens my mood and also on those nice days open your windows and let that breeze come in so you can hear the noises outside and just feel the air on your skin it's so peaceful and my last tip is when you're not gonna like but I really enjoy it and that is do your dishes just do your dishes every day every day do your dishes and every morning put your dishes away
and keep your counters clear. All flat surfaces like to collect clutter and if you just keep them clear it will change the way your whole house feels and having them clear will make you want all the other surfaces clear but that all starts with doing your dishes so that's my last tip for this video I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and like button because it is the best compliment you can give me and my channel and thanks so much for watching you guys I'll see you next time